stretched out from end to end, the DNA inside every cell of your body would be over six feet long, and yet it has to fold up to fit inside the nucleus of a cell, which is less than a thousandth of an inch wide. Like origami, this process of folding determines whether the cell will become a heart cell that beats or a brain cell that thinks or an immune cell that fights disease. Here at Baylor College of Medicine's Center for Genome Architecture, our role in the ENCODE project will be to create maps of how the human genome folds in three dimensions inside the nucleus of a cell. Our work begins with an experiment. The experiment identifies loops across the human genome. Places where the genome bends back on itself and two pieces that lie far apart along the DNA molecule come close together in the cell nucleus. These loops can turn genes on and off. As part of ENCODE, we will be performing hundreds of experiments in a wide variety of cell types, everything from your brain to your feet. We analyze HiC data using software developed in the lab. This software allows us to visualize how the genome folds, both on a computer screen and in virtual reality, to identify loops and other structures. Finally, we combine this data with theoretical physics to develop better theories of genome folding. For instance, our lab recently showed that loops in the genome form by a process known as extrusion, kind of the way a length of adjuster works on your backpack. This is a very exciting time for understanding the entire idea of genome and chromatin structure and function. When CTBP, the Center for Theoretical Biological Physics, moved to RISE, we were looking for some new exciting fields where theory could be coupled to top-of-the-line experiments. At that time, ARIES joined the center as being one of the, our youngest members that pretty much has changed uh, one of our main lines of research. We are in a unique position to start to generate all this possible structure that have this big theoretical, computational, and experimental information coming together. And that's what we hope to do in the next few years. The three billion letters of the human genome were first sequenced in 2001. But we still don't know what most of the letters mean. That mystery makes it harder for us to understand what's happening when you or your loved ones get sick and to design cures to make them feel better. Together with the other labs in the ENCODE project, our goal is to produce the most detailed picture of how the human genome works that has ever been created.